All right, new tonight for you. Feelings a bit split in Sylvania over scooters in the downtown area. Roxana Lee, she spoke to residents tonight. Roxanne, what were they telling you? Jeff, I spoke to a lot of people downtown tonight. Some people feel that they're a good idea to perhaps make things more accessible, but then there are others who feel it doesn't make sense to bring them to such a small city. Music, drinks, food. Those are the things that bring people to downtown Sylvania. But next week, the city might decide these will. When I first heard about that, I was thinking that it probably isn't the best environment for that. Jill and Larry Johnson aren't really in favor of seeing the scooters in their town. It's one, it's a smaller town. It's a block or two long. Um, it's a quaint, nice, settled in kind of feeling. I don't feel like that is one necessary because it's not, there's not that much territory to cover. After seeing the success of scooter programs in other cities like Toledo, Sylvania Streets Committee will meet Monday to discuss the potential of one here. For nearby resident Melissa Hopfer, she says she's for it. I think the scooters are really exciting and fun, so I think it creates a lot of positive and exciting energy for any downtown area. Uh, and it might be a great way to bring people who don't live in the immediate area of downtown Sylvania. Sylvania's had success with its Dora program, where adults can drink and move about. But it's downtowns not nearly the size of Toledo. And the Johns say that's a problem. In this small of space, how would it combine with Dora? I don't, you know, I, yeah, don't I can't. Know. I can't imagine Dora and a scooter. I can't together. imagine Dora and a scooter. <laughs> okay, or people standing. Part of Dora is that you stand and you visit with people. But the couple has faith the city will hear all sides and make their choice based on that. Hopford believes it's a way of moving the city forward with more opportunity for visitors. I think the scooters are really exciting and fun, so I think it creates a lot of positive and exciting energy for any downtown area. Uh, and it might be a great way to bring people who don't live in the immediate area of downtown Sylvania. Well, hopefully we'll be able to learn more when the Streets Committee plans to meet Monday at 7 p.m. in Council Chambers. In studio, Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11.